Hello, today I will explain a little bit about this very beautiful device. It's an AIM65 clone uh, sent me from Japan by a YouTube user. I asked for and he sent it to me. I'm very excited about this and I will explain a little bit um, yeah, this device, this clone here. So what we have um, two switch for on and off. One is for five volt. It is five volt for the display. Internal, it seems that they use the three volt um, power circle. And I have also another one on this side. It's nine volt. It's for the printer. And I can make both on and I get the very nice message Rockwell AIM65. And the thing is, um, yeah, I explained a little bit about the yeah, development or the use of the operation system. Let's call it operation system. It's a monitor program and all commands can be set by one key press. And yeah, let me explain a little bit how easy it is to see some memory information. So for that, you press the M button, the N key, and they ask for a memory. And let's go to the memory 200, press return, and you see all the bytes that are in the memory. This is the memory address 200, 201, 202, and so on and so on. With space, you can go to the next uh, memory addresses and you see all here on the printer. I press line feed to see, to see it better. And when you want to switch or change some memories, then you can use this key and add your values here. And I will create a little program here. And so let me add a value two and the value three. And then the address, this is 210, uh, two, 211, one, and 212, two, or 212. I will add here the two zeros. And at the end of my little program, I will uh, calculate these two values and put the results into uh, this memory cell. So, how to develop this device. There has more options here. I will create a very simple program and I had write it down here in my book. I hope you can see it here. It's a simple command. Um, I load this uh, memory address and I edit uh, the other address and I store it then in the next address and make break command. And all this assembler values um, can be added as a memory information. So let's go back to the memory address through 100 and add the values here. Ah, sorry, I go back, escape, I leave it. And with memory 200, I can now add here my values as opcodes. So CLC has the command 18 and the load command is AD. And when I will load from a special memory address, I have to switch the two values, not two, not zero, two, one, two. I have switched to one, two, two, zero. And next I will add, this is, um, 60, 11, 2, 0. No, no, something went totally wrong. Let's go back to 100, return and edit. 18, AD, 1, 0, 0, 2. And then the next address is 204. I add here. 6D1102 and then I store it in the next cell. This is a D for store in 0212 and then I set a break. Okay, 
I saved my program and when I go back to my special start address here, the 200, I can start my program with the G command, with the G key. And when I press return, I'm finished. So how can I take a look on this? I changed the program counter. This is shift and the star. The program counter, I go back to the address not 200, 210, press return, and now I can also show the memories with the address 210. And I see here, yes, the value 2 was added with the value 3, and the result is the value 5. So that means right into the memory cells is not really comfortable. So it's better when you have a assembler or a basic. And we can also create some assembler informations with the key E. Uh, for that, I switch to my starting address 200. And now when I press the E key, uh, the system want, want, awaits a very simple <laughs> assembler commands here. So it's very, or it's much more easier if you have the commands and not the, the um, memory cell values here. So when I created a CLC, the switch to the next address, and I can add my new commands like load. And I load from a memory cell. The cell is two, uh, zero, two, one, zero. Press enter. He switched to the next free memory cell. And I can here add um, 2011. And then I store the result in two, uh, zero, two, 12 and set a break and it's much easier to develop in, on this way and um, I leave with the escape key and go back to my address where I have the two values I will calculate together mm, to the memory 210 and I switch it to let's say 5 plus 4 and the result should be at in this memory cell so for that i switch to 200 to the program stat and let's start the program with the g key and press return and then we can switch to the memory address 210 and see here that the result is 9. So very simple for beginning. I will create some more assembler programs here to to uh, show how you can um, yeah, send or use the display, how you can use the printer, and how you can work with the keyboard and bring this together in assembler to yeah let's say create a simple game or a simple application. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.